college prep math, uh, A, section 1.1, modeling with what kids? Area, okay? Now anything that I write down up here, I would definitely encourage you guys to write down your notes. These are your notes for you to have, to keep, uh, put in a binder, use them. Uh, come quiz time, test time, there may be times I say, you know what, use your notes on it, okay? Or I might say, uh, on a quiz or test, you're stuck on a problem, I might refer you to a certain section, say, take a look at this and see if you can transfer that, all right? Make sense? Okay. Is there anybody opposed to notes in here? All right, I see zero hands in the air, so that means let's go, okay? How about a volunteer to read my essential question with modeling uh, with area today? Volunteer to read that for me? Go ahead, Jaden, thank you. How can you use the population and area of a region to describe how densely the region is populated? Okay, so population, uh, how densely populated, that's kind of what we're after, okay? So I'm gonna find an exploration here, I wanna look at here quickly. Uh, you're gonna need your Chromebooks for this, and some people are gonna have to punch in some numbers, so let me do this quickly. Uh, I need to get to my tools here in Big Ideas, so let me zoom out here. And right here, kids. Um, Here's what I want to do here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just kind of read this for you right now, okay? Um, you're going to have to search some countries for me, all right? What do you guys think population density is? The density of a population, okay? If I had to ask you to say, what's population density without using the words population and density, what might you say then? The amount of people in a certain area. Okay, very good. That's excellent. Okay, amount of people in a certain area. So let's do this here quickly, kids. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions, and you're going to research this for me. Okay, um, and maybe a question I can ask to set this up is: If I ask about population density, is there a certain unit that gets attached to that answer in the end? Like sometimes I might say there's 43 cars, or I have 62. Dollars. If I say the population density of a region is 62, what kind of unit might get attached to that? People. That's part of it. People per like square mile. Exactly. So quick exploration here. We'll talk about it together. Uh, I have a country I want you to look up. Okay. It's in. I'm sorry, not a country, but a county. It's called Lake County in California. All right. Lake County in California. If we're talking population density, we're looking for the number of people probably per square. What'd you say again, Sterling? Per square mile. mile. Okay. See if you guys can Google up uh, Lake County here. There's a there's a county in California. Maybe Google up Lake County, California. Is there a population to that, kids? Anybody come up with a number yet? Total population? 64,500. 64,500. Anybody want to confirm that for me? Okay, I like that number. Okay, then how about the area in terms of square miles? Does it say anything about the area of Lake County, California in terms of area? One thousand three hundred twenty-nine, and how about a unit on that? Square miles. 
Okay, so there's 64,500 people living in 1,329 square miles. So if I go back to this idea that Xavier says it's the number of people in a certain area, how would I find the population density here, kids? Well, if I take what he said, population density is the number of people per, when I use per, it's like division, an area. What am I going to do with my two values, kids? Divide them. Yeah, you're going to divide them. That's simple, okay? You're basically saying, what number goes up top, what number goes on the bottom? So you're exactly right. Density is going to be a certain value per certain value, okay? The units are going to determine what that density looks like. And so let's talk population density. It's probably going to be people per square mile. Monica? Are you wanting to write this down? Nope, not right now. Only on the pages that I have printed. So we're going to write this down right here. That was kind of the exploration we wanted to talk about. So we're good with this here, okay? So what I want to talk about today here, kids, is this. The exploration right there was about Lake County, all right? How do you find the population density in Lake County? If you wrote it down, great. Goals right here. How about a volunteer to read our two goals? Thank you, Jaden. Use area formula to solve problems. Okay. Use surface area formula to solve problems. Okay, there's going to be some formulas we have to recover again or remember, like area of a parallelogram or area of a trapezoid or area of a circle. Do you guys remember all of those? If you don't remember the area of shape, what do you have in front of you? You have to be able to figure it out. Chromebooks, right? You can just Google them up because Google knows everything, right? Well, almost everything. Okay, let's get some vocab here. We want to be able to use area formulas to solve those problems and relate those surface area pro uh, formulas to solve problems. We're really going to look at them as they relate to density, though, okay? Uh, all right, Mr. Keaton. Yep. Okay, so population density again, Xavier. What's your best definition again? The amount of people Amount of people, excellent, and that's excellent. Amount of people, amount of people per, you guys okay if I use just area down there? Because it could be square feet, it could be square miles, it could be square yards, it could be square centimeters. You guys okay if it's people per area? Is that all right? Okay. So an example of that right here was like Lake County. I don't like this color that I'm using here. An example that was like Lake County. By the way, did somebody divide that out for me? The 64,500. Who has a calculator handy? You can get your calculator out now. If your phone's your calculator, that's okay. All right. See what I did there? See what I did there? If your phone's your calculator, you can get that out. Okay. Uh, what what was that population density? Sixty-four thousand five hundred. What was the area again? Was it thirteen twenty-nine? Yeah. Okay. If I did that Lake County, California, the sixty-four thousand five hundred. It was sixty-four five, wasn't it? Sixty-four thousand. That's a bad looking five. 64,500 people divided by 1329 in square miles. 48. What? 48.5. Okay, so that means 48.5 people, and I'm going to write it this way um, P S M, like that means people per square mile. Okay, people per square mile is what I'll write there as an abbreviation. Okay, think about that. If you went from where I'm standing right now, if you went one mile that way and one mile this way, you got the size of your square, mile by a mile. There's only 48.5 people in that one square mile. My question is, is that densely populated or sparsely populated? Sparsely. There's not very many people in that square mile. 48 and a half people. There's five people in my house. I think my house is small. There's 48 and a half people, only like... 10 times the amount of people living in there, but they give them a mile this way and a mile that way. I'm pretty sure 10 of my houses would fit on a square mile. How about you guys? Okay, so that's pretty sparsely populated. That's not a lot of people per square mile, okay? All right, things we need to remember. Perimeter. Quickly, anybody, what's the definition of perimeter? Anybody? 
anybody recall the definition of perimeter? What's the perimeter of this room? If I had to ask you to describe the perimeter of this room, what would it be? Yeah, the outer edges. So it's the distance around the outside. Yep, distance. It's a distance around something. If you know something, don't be afraid to answer. Distance around a shape. Okay, so if I had this as a shape, maybe this is 7, this is 10, this is 7, and this is 10. 7, 10, 7, 10. What's the perimeter of that shape right there? Thirty how much? Thirty-four. Thirty-four units, yep. Okay. Perimeter would be thirty-four units. Okay. Area of something then. If perimeter is something that figures distance on the outside, what's an area? How much fills the object? Yeah, how much takes to fill the object? If I look at this chalkboard right here, I can't believe. I think I'm probably one of the few rooms that possess a chalkboard in here. What's really cool about them is you can do this. But I don't have fingernails, so it's okay. Ah! No, I can't. Jeepers. <laughs> don't do that. I have a heart attack on the first day. Uh, yeah, uh, the outside of this would be the perimeter. And then if I did draw like one square right here, which was one unit by one unit, then the area would be how many square units fill up some. So area is going to be something that's on the inside. So I'm just going to say area is number of square units on the inside. And again, I think you know this. I like to recall this before we move on. So it's the number of square units inside or outside, kids? Inside a figure. Okay. If I had this rectangle right here, which was 7 by 10, and I told you that this little rectangle down here was 1 by 1, how many of those little rectangles would it take to completely fill the inside of that up? 70. 70. 7 by 10. 70, right? So we get area. That's on the inside. Okay. Then surface area. Surface area relates to area again, but the difference between area and surface area, what is that difference? Okay, I'll tell you this right here. Area is like the floor down here. Area is like the floor down here. Surface area is like this cup. What's the difference? third dimension, yep. When we talk area, we're talking about a flat surface all the time. So when I talk area all the time, area is always going to be flat, okay? And we typically assume land to be flat when we're looking for population density. But when we start talking surface area, we're talking about surface area of certain shapes. We have a flat bottom, but we also have a side to it now. So surface area is always going to talk about what again, Sterling? Uh, the, the third dimension, okay? All right, so uh, basically it's, um, it's the area of all sides of a figure. Okay, it's the area of all sides of a figure. And again, I think vocab-wise, you probably know most of those already. Okay. But I am going to tell you this right now. When we do stuff this year, we will always go through vocabulary so that we have a good understanding of the words that we're talking about. And as we progress through difficult problems, I want you to be able to speak intelligently using vocabulary with the things that we're going to be exploring this year. Okay. Um, I think uh, uh, we can get through example one here, and then uh, I'm going to turn you loose today. All right. You guys okay with that? Okay, let me just make sure again. Everybody got their account set up on uh, Big Ideas, is that correct? Okay, all right. Um, so quickly here, let's, let's take a look at this first example. We, we uh, through the exploration, should be able to do this real quickly. What I'd like you guys to do here is take a minute, read through example one. It says the state of Colorado has a population of about how many people, kids? Five million people. It says find a population density in, what would we underline here? People per square mile. Okay, talk with a table partner or someone near you quickly. See if you can come up with a value and how you get that, and then uh, we'll call it good for a day, all right?
show of hands here quickly. Anybody think they've got a value for population density here? Maybe you don't have a value, but does anybody have a thought on how they might progress through this? Let's gas go. Go ahead. Okay. It might be wrong. Ah, you know what? Making mistakes is how I learn. So. Okay. So is it 720 or 275 times 375? Okay, the 275 times 375. What are you trying to accomplish there? Get the area. Okay, so we look at Colorado here and we think, eh, it looks like a rectangular state. Okay, what is 275 times 375? Something. Anybody want to punch that up for me? 1,000. What? 100,000 and 3, and then 125 at the end. Okay, so it's 103,125. What kind of unit is this then? Square miles. Square miles, yep. Okay, so that's how many square miles. If this was a one by one square mile, it would take 103,125 of those to fill it up. Okay. How can you use that information on find the density there, Anka? And then 5 million divided by 103. People per square mile is what I want. We have 5 million people per square miles. How many square miles total, kids? 103,000. Okay, so somebody run that quotient for me. I'd say nearest tenth is good, Jaden. 48.4. 48.4. How many got 48.4? 48.4 people in every square mile. Is that Dempsey Park populated or Sparsely populated? One mile that way, one mile this way. There's only 48 people in here. In fact, there's 14 of us in this little room right now. That's Sparsely populated. Where do you think most population is at in Colorado? Cities. Cities, like what? Denver. Colorado Springs. Absolutely. Uh, that number again, please, Jaden. 48.4. 48.4, I'm going to put, I, I, for people per square mile, is it okay if I use PSM? Are you guys okay with that? Okay, very good. Hey, have a great day. No assignment. Good start. Have a great day. Everybody know where you're going?